Welcome to part 9 of my WinUAE guide. Today we're going to be looking at CD-ROMs. You can now follow me on Library, which is an alternative video platform. Go to the link shown now and you can follow and even leave me a tip which will really help out the channel. Now back to the video. So I've downloaded a couple of ISO images and also NRG files, which I believe was made by um, the Neuro burning software. So it accepts multiple formats. So ISO seems to be the most popular format. So we've got those downloaded. Um, you can find them on the EAB FTP server. That's where I downloaded mine from. Uh, you have to have an account in order to download from those. Um, and what we're going to do is run them in our WinUAE. Now I've had a little bit of problem in the past with loading up CD-ROMs and hopefully what I'll show you will clear up any confusions, some things to watch out for when you're setting this up and I'll show you the mistakes that can be made. First let's show you what to do. I'll go load up our configuration so this is a uh, basic Amiga 1200 with an O2O processor uh, we've got our Better Workbench hard drive and some WHD load games as well. Very similar setup to uh, what we've had in the past. We've looked at these areas here about adding a directory and adding a hard drive file in the past. And you'd be very tempted to think, oh, I just need to click add IDE CD ROM drive. That's what I want. But no, you don't do that. Uh, first off, make sure that you haven't got the emulator running at all and then make sure that you've got CDFS auto mount CD-ROM DVD drives ticked. Then go to select image and then I'm going to select uh, the Amiga format CD click open and then you should see it listed there below. This should also change to image mode as well automatically so with that ticked and this selected we can run start and as you can see the CD drive is there so we can browse to it uh, I know on this disk it had a few PD games on here it had the uh, yeah the deluxe Gallagher on there pub dart Shepherd was an interesting game um, so yeah if we just load up load up a game there we go so we can exit out of that. So now I'm going to show you one of the issues that you might come across if you're trying to enable this. If we've got the emulator running and we press F12, at the moment you see that we haven't got the CDFS auto mount enabled. If I tick, up, tick that and then I select my CD-ROM again, and click options and then I click OK no CDs appeared what's happened okay let's uh, let's say let's restart the Amiga because maybe the Amiga needs restarting now I still haven't got a CD so you've got to make sure that you do a restart which closes the emulator completely and then make sure that you've got CDFS ticked before you start up the emulator and you've got your CD drive, um, your CD image selected, click start and there we go, the CD drive has appeared. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe if you wish to see more and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.